We'd like to avoid this 1984 scenario. And in 1984, it was the two key words from Orwell's novel were uh, surveillance and censorship. But this particular uh, person said, the two scariest words I have are critical infrastructure, <laughs> since those are key words that are used to simulate any amount of, of government kind of takeover. There were some very positives, though. We had, uh, we had one positive point that said, look, look, in disaster response today, it's individuals and non-governmental organizations and even companies who step to the plate right away to help people in a disaster. Government, public safety, they show up a little bit later. Well, I think that's possibly true. Um, we said that uh, youth and educated consumers will counteract any of these trends because they'll, they'll try to stick to the truth and they'll, they'll be the ones who, if they're truly educated, will resist government takeovers. And uh, someone said also that governments are smart enough to know that they don't have the money to invest in and run internet infrastructure. So they're constantly going to defer any of that power grab because they understand that the private sector does it better. Well, that's the optimistic side. On the other hand, we had uh, some bold declarations that all of this was really a Pollyanna attitude. And that, in fact, freedom is already losing out to privacy, security, and the rule of law. And we see it around the world today. We uh, take a look, for instance, that the Protect IP Act here in our country, which is moving quickly through Congress, is, is about what? Restricting access to content in the name of protecting intellectual property. And uh, someone commented that laws like that are actually provoked not by lobbyists, but they're provoked by people making individual decisions to what? To steal music and movies. Or people making individual decisions to share too much of their own personal information on social networking sites, and that provokes privacy laws and restrictions on what can be shared online. So it's individual activities that are provoking it. Final reaction is that today's open internet, let's all recognize this. It came from conscious decisions about engineering and policy that were made when the internet was designed. Consequently, here in the United States with a lot of US leaders, but the private sector has made conscious decisions. And those same conscious decisions could be unmade in the years ahead.